The boy been solid when you ask about your Mac and hard. Always on the line in the trenches like a nose guard. Never been a sucker, man. My knuckle game crazy. Leave your eye like a raccoon punching them out like the baby they say. He a G and he know for keeping it 100. Dirt on my boots, not my name. He's so 100. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. The game kill. The game real. I shook his ride. But his vital stayed still. Deeper caskets though. Tombstone. Here lies next. See what happened was. You was a faggot, cuz! You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to all of my subscribers, Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content. You know, y'all want the breakdowns, y'all want the recaps. I get it. And salute to everybody who've been asking about the hoodies. The original, original. I'm gonna bring the original joints back real soon. I know y'all been asking, I've been busy, but. We gonna get them out there. If you wanna do a pre-order, we do a pre-order, but I know a lot of people want them. But uh, let's get right to it, man. You got New Jersey Twerk versus Next. Yes, this battle is on the app. Um, I did get the app back recently. Um, Saga, who's one of my friends, had told me that he had a battle with Swamp on there. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't seen it, so I was like, yo, let me go ahead and drop the eight, you know what I'm saying, to support the culture, right? So I watched this battle, Swamp did his thing. Um, Saga got that though, clear. He was he was definitely in some different pockets. But then uh next versus New Jersey Twerk drops. I had heard about this battle. I had heard how it went. I knew it was in the DMV, so I didn't think it was gonna go good for next. I just did not think so. And uh, you know, a lot of people, he has people that support him, then he has a lot of people that don't. You know, they say he's a plant, they say he sounds like twerk, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I've seen him have some pretty good battles in some of his joints, you know what I'm saying? I like the joint that he had versus Rum Nitty. And he has some others sprinkled through here and there. So he's getting his biggest battle versus a New Jersey twerk. And this is more so about what twerk did than what Next did not do or what he did do, or whatever the case may be. Ah, nigga, knock you out. He's sleeping well. Lift your bitch ass up, BB. Like I'm the reason you're screaming, yeah? Um, Twerk, this is the reason why I carry it the way I do. Like when we fall out, you know what I mean? We good now, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we not blocked, follow each other on social media, I talk about your bars and shit, I recap your battles, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, but I'm not a yes man, you know what I mean? Like when you was in the stages, and Shug just said it the other day, you know what I mean? Like when he was down, uh, I smoked him. Like, even like you take Ryder Fly for for you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like he he would be good up there because you could take use me an example. The nigga used to drag me. Him and his man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He used to drag me. Like, what the fuck that nigga's talking about? He used to drag me. I started doing good. They start reporting good. I do uh Shook that was uh I wasn't really I right. wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? When you came up, I, I gave him respect. When you start rapping like that, and all of that came from Shook. So this is not a one man thing. Like, I don't have an agenda with no one artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about battle rap, you know? Twerk know me, I know Twerk, I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when you not applying yourself, hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. You're way too talented and way too good to be in the precarious situations that you have been in, whether it be battle rap. And I ain't gonna go through it all, whether, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. His history is his history, and history ain't no mystery. But in the last, like, four or five joints, he been sneaky winning and been sneaky, not even sneaky, he's been live, he's been doing his thing. Like he had Real Sick beat him, had uh, O Red beat him, had Lou Castro beat him, and is battling next and beat him too. And it's damn near 3 0 in all of these battles. Maybe Sick is the 2 1, but for the most part, he's been winning consistently. But the issue I have is what, like, do you realize? I don't think you realize how good you are. I really don't. Like, I don't think that you realize how good you are. I hope you do now. I heard. The conversations where uh, you were saying that, you know, oh, in the battle you mentioned it, you know, Beasley was one of the motivating factors for you and things like that, and you know, that you've been getting your shit together. And I'm gonna, 
I'm, I'm moving with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing what you're doing and I like what you're doing out here. Uh, you even started experimenting with different pockets of flows. Love it, you know what I'm saying? Everything is not just, you know, cocking the seed. The chain it got more ice than the top of the fridge. The dry light's not all yellow. You definitely mixing in pockets of flows. I shot the driver, moved the driver, looted the driver, Uber driver, lifted the I like that, you know what I'm saying? That is good, because those type of flows are gonna get you past the bigger name MCs, because when you're battling bigger name MCs on bigger stages, bigger platforms, the punches are great, but the substance in between, the multis, the how you're able to ooh and ah, like when you was talking about, uh, you know, the the, 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 the the hotel with the best in, the West Ends where y'all slept in, like that type of shit we was talking about, five star, best in, like, that type of shit is, is imperative to your development because we know what you could do punch for punch for punch for punch. And no, I don't got no whole bunch of notes and all of that for this because I don't need them. It's a 3-0 New Jersey twerk. We were gonna do that, it's 3-0. He won the battle 3-0, but I'm talking about what he did driving, moving forward. Now, let me give some props to the next. You took a battle versus New Jersey twerk in the DMV. You knew you were coming into a losing situation. I mean, I, I, would, I would envision it. You battling this nigga in his backyard, and everybody's saying you sound like him, and you address sounding like him. You said what you said. Uh, he said, uh, he said, he said, I would never bite Jersey. That's a Kobe. Hold on. Hold on. What a left to right crossover here, shaking Matt Barnes, creating space and knocking it down. Next. Yes, sir. Oh, whoa, wait, sir. Wait, sir. That's my favorite player of all time. Y'all niggas ain't know that. I would never bite neck jersey. That's a Kobe move, nigga. I heard that shit. I would never bite jersey. That's a Kobe move. I heard it, nigga. Yeah, probably. That shit was fire. Flat line, ooh, that shit was fire too. But the thing is, when you rap like yourself in the second round, that shit was better than most of the shit that you was doing. You gotta stick to what you do. Like, you have to stick to being next. That I don't bite your Kobe move, nigga. That shit was fire. I ain't going to front on you. I'm not. It got a little physical. got a little Russell Tussle in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Twerk. I beat you up. I'm not almost about to fight, nigga. I beat you up. I get it, man. It's the battle rap thing. Y'all had y'all, you know what I'm saying, a little. But Twerk addressed it. He said he fucks with you. You know what I'm saying? It's all battle rap aggression. It happens like that. Levels is high. People is trying to win battles. Um, But next, like I said, I'm not the one that's gonna be like, oh, you ain't good. You, I'm not gonna say that. I'll never say that because I, I can't do the shit that y'all do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no battle rapper. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Molecular physical. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? My mind ain't designed like that. But so I know that you're battling at the highest level. But in order to beat MCs or beat other MCs, you're gonna have to remove yourself from comparisons to other. Other MCs have done it. They compared Luke Castro to twerk a lot when he first came in. But he started to niche and find his own freaky freaky, like the big little. Like he started finding his own wave. You gotta find your own wave. The same thing. I was watching a a Zeta dropout battle past my timeline the other day. He sounds too much like Mike P. It's gonna be hard to elevate when niggas could directly correlate you sounding like somebody else, whether you're trying to or not. It don't even matter whether you're trying to or not. If that's that, oh, I hate. Like he took your I hate and did it better than you. Like he he did it better than you. This is what I'm saying. Don't leave those loopholes and angles open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, like, up the guy text, run up for him, neck, give him the butterfly effect. Like, why is he wilding on you like this? And then, my favorite, I ain't gonna tell you what my favorite, my favorite, I'm gonna give you my favorite line from the battle, you know what I'm saying? From twerk, you know what I'm saying? I give, I'm, gonna give you, I'm gonna give you my favorite line. This shit was crazy, too. <laughs> like, this, this was crazy. That's what made me stop and say, oh, He's sliding again. All right, let me give him a let me show some love. So he says, uh, go slide on him. Go dump the nine on him. Take this desert eagle, put the safety down. Go cover five on him. <laughs> Take the safety down, go cover five on him. See, cover five, it's a good defense, but it does expose, it does leave a lot of vulnerabilities, especially over the top. And you can get beat in the intermediate game because when you're doing cover five, and then it takes away from some of the press. I can break that down a whole another way. But that take the safety down on the desert, go cover five on him. Why is he doing this? See, this is the reason why I be mad with Twerk. I fuck with Twerk. I love it. I do. I like rock with his music. I love the fact that he's involved with his kids. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. He's a good dude overall. And I know that he got a lot of love for a lot of people. And shout out to you for when you saw my man 
SP down at uh, Summer Madness or whatever, y'all adapted up, you know what I'm saying? And I know that, you know, you had energy for him because he's a product of me, per se. He's gonna bring the same energy. When we know that you could do something and you're not doing it, or you're halfway doing it, or you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would love to see this nigga at the top of the charts, because every year they're gonna bring you up. So why not perform and do what you're supposed to do? Just say it. Too talented. You're too talented. And this is the stand that I'm gonna hold you to. I will always hold New Jersey twerk to a high fucking standard. I'm not a yes man. I'm not gonna okay. I won't do it, man. Like, I'd rather not. But for not. Don't let nobody take nothing from this blog or this video and say that I'm hating because I'm not. I just wanna see you do good. Um, I remember I met New Jersey twerk. I think it was 2016, maybe, at an event in a DMV. He wasn't even on URL yet. He was young, he was humble, he was impressionable. We adapted and we spoke real quick. He told me he was going to do his thing. I mean, I hear from a lot of rappers, so I mean, you know. But I remember meeting him, and he should remember meeting me that day because he knew who I was before. I, you know, I didn't know him at the time. But the potential that you have and the ability that you have it's phenomenal. Like, motherfuckers can't put them type of words together. You talking about the best end, the West End, the good one with the good Wi-Fi, like that. Bro, like, take your craft seriously, man. Like, every battle. Take your battle seriously. I don't want to hear no shit from no league owners, you know what I'm saying? I seen the videos with Verb and all of them this week. Salute to them. And uh, my man from Street Status, my you owe this money and that. Bro, I don't want to see none of that. I want to see you fulfilling your potential. Doing the shit that you're supposed to be doing. You know Drake. You could literally text or call him any day. He knows you. And he supports you. Make these niggas proud of you. I know a lot. When I talk to people that are famous and celebrities and things like that, they all love him. Whether he's good, bad, or indifferent. Make the people proud of you. As far as next goes, um, I had twerk one in the first round clear. I had twerk one in the second round clear. I had twerk one in the third round clear. His rounds was like three times. Like when you look at the size on the app, his rounds was like three times the size of the next. So, uh... I have next, you know, he put up a fight, but it's just nothing that he did in this particular circumstance was better than anything New Jersey Twerk did. He had a couple little lines here and there. Like I said, I like the, the Kobe line and shit. I, never, I, I like that shit. I, oh, I never bite Jersey. That's a Kobe move. That was fire. But uh, I see people quick to jump out the window just saying you straight up trash and shit like that. I'm not going to do that because the Ultimate Rap League is probably the hardest league to perform at on a high level, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, this is a very tough, tough, tough sled. And um, I'm gonna give you props for, for showing up, but in the DMV, you had to be a brave soul. Like, yeah, I ain't out of battle that nigga in Atlantic City or something. <laughs> you had a better chance of battling him in Jersey than you did battling him in uh, the DMV. You should have skipped that one. But I call it bravery. Uh, you know, hopefully you get into some more situations where you can continue to improve and continue to work on that flow that you had and them patterns when you was doing, like, you got it in you. It's just a trendy thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, arm out the window, like I'm at a drive through apply. Like, that shit is, that. that's the trendy thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's trendy, but it's hard to be different. Be different. You know what I'm saying? You take a take take a step out there. Now I understand if you if that's part of who you are as far as with your rap style and things like that, the, the gritty flow, which people call twerks and shit, or press mafia, whatever the case may be, you call it how you call it, but it is what it is. Um overall, scale of one to ten, I get a battle. Twerk's performance, I give a nine. The battle overall, I probably give like a seven and a half or an eight because Twerk was just a way, 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 way above. Like, it was just, uh, he didn't have a chance. Um, but, it is what it is. You already know what it is. Damn. That's a Kobe move. I like that shit, next. Keep that type of shit up. Yeah. They say the boy been solid When you ask about your Mac and hard Always on the line In the trenches like a nose guard Never been a sucker Man, my knuckle game crazy Leave your eye like a raccoon Punching him out like the baby They say he a G And he know for keeping it 100 Dirt on my boots, not my name He's so 100 